In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Greetings, beloved of the Lord. You are listening to Catholic Meditation. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Thursday, the 9th of May, 2024. It is Thursday of the sixth week of Easter, Church Yebi. Today, the Church celebrates the solemnity of the Ascension of the Lord. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verses 1 to 11. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 47. The response to the psalm is, God has gone up with shouts of joy. The Lord goes up with trumpet blast. The second reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verses 1 to 13. The gospel is taken from St. Mark, chapter 16, verses 15 to 20. I read from the first reading. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up after he had given commandment through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. To them, he presented himself alive after his passion by many proofs, appearing to them during forty days and speaking of the kingdom of God. And while staying with them, he charged them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you heard from me, from John baptized with water, but before many days you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, It is not for you to know times or seasons which the Father has fixed by his own authority, but you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the end of the earth. And when he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. And while they were gazing into heaven as he went, behold, two men stood by them in white robes and said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking into heaven? This Jesus who was taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The theme for today's meditation is Fix your gaze on things that are above. Fix your gaze on things that are above. Dear friends in Christ, 40 days after his resurrection, Jesus ascended into heaven. From Easter Sunday till today is exactly 40 days. But where had Jesus been all these 40 days that it is only today he ascends into heaven? Where had he been? Where was he? Now, immediately after his resurrection, Jesus went up to heaven. Just like at death, immediately the soul leaves the body 
and goes to its judgment. It is not at the burial, as some people think, that that is when the soul leaves the body. No. Even if the mortal remains are kept in the morgue for a year, the soul of the deceased had long left to its feet. So too, immediately Jesus died and rose from the dead, he went to heaven. He only returned on earth with a glorified body because he had to come back on earth to complete his unfinished work. And he had 40 days to do so. It was from heaven that Jesus was appearing to his disciples and apostles, showing himself to them and later disappearing back to the heavens. Now that the 40 days are over, he disappears into the clouds, never to return. He ascends into heaven, never to appear, never to be seen, only when he comes again in majesty at the second coming, the parousia, to judge the world. So after this ascension, Jesus will not appear. We will stop hearing episodes of how Jesus appeared and showed himself to his apostles or disciples. No. After ascending into heaven, it marks the end of the appearance scenes. No longer will they see him appear. Jesus could not just have resurrected and disappeared, gone for good to the heavens. The story of the resurrection would never have been believed if he did so. Remember, the apostles were still in fear and in doubt. No one had ever risen before. Jesus appeared, therefore, to strengthen, to assure, to comfort, and to console them that he was truly the Messiah, that the resurrection was real and not fake, to also put to shame all those who came up with false stories that the body had been stolen away from the tomb. He appeared, and to make them know that all he said would happen had happened. He appeared and showed himself. They touched him, and ate with him, and saw that it was truly he crucified who had risen from the dead. Now, with their faith strengthened, though with many things still not understood, and to be understood and to be told them, at least they now have a certain faith and they go out to witness and to preach. Jesus can now leave them. No longer will he appear. No longer will they see him nor touch him physically. He is ascending to the heavens from whence he came. That is the ascension. Now, what do we learn from this story of the ascension? What do we make of this event? First, beloved, we too should know that there will come a time when we will depart. Either you to depart and leave people behind you, or you to be left behind by someone who has departed. How do we prepare people for our departure? Jesus had 40 days. He set the ball rolling. He appeared, showed himself to the apostles, strengthened their faith, and his work is done. He is departing, ascending to heaven, but in confidence that what he has shown and taught them, they can now go out to proclaim. Dear God's good people, God has given us 60 years, 70 years, some of us 80 and 90, yet, even when we are to die and leave, we die and leave without preparing people whom we leave behind. We leave people behind who are still in total disarray and shock. They do not know what to do next when we leave them. We should learn from Jesus, prepare to leave, and prepare those whom you are leaving so that when you depart, whether you leave them young, whether you leave them at what age, they may be ready to stand on their feet. The apostles still had many things to understand, but at least after 40 days, Jesus is certain that they are on their feet and they can go on without him. I try to imagine the story. I try to imagine the scene. Look at these apostles. They were common fishermen. Jesus had been with them, and now he is departing, never to be seen by them. Imagine how they would have felt. Never to see him again? It is like death 
when someone dies whom we love, we'll never see them again. But the apostles are prepared. They are ready for it. Jesus will no longer be with them physically, but they are ready to go out and to witness. 40 days of schooling, 40 days of showing himself to them, their faith has been strengthened to a certain degree and they are ready to stand on their feet. Were you to die now? Were you to leave your family now? Are you certain that they can stand on their feet? Were your parents to leave you now? Are you certain that you can stand on your feet? Have you learned quite enough that even without them, you can stand on your feet? Many question marks. Secondly, Jesus goes to that kingdom as head to prepare a place for us so that we, the body, can follow where he, the head, has gone ahead. He goes to prepare a place for us, as he said in scripture, so that where he is, we too shall be. Someday, beloved, we too shall ascend to the heavens. The song of Jim Reeves, I'll fly away, catches this very beautifully. Some glad morning, he says, when this life is over, I will fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. Let us be prepared, beloved, that someday we shall fly away. We too shall ascend to the heavens. Third, as the apostles stood gazing into the clouds as he ascended, our eyes must be turned towards the things that are above. We must fix our gaze on heavenly things. Look up to the things that are above where Christ is sitting at God's right hand. We should look up to the things of heaven. As the apostles were gazing into the clouds, so we too should look up to heaven. We should not be distracted by these things here below. Let us fix our gaze to those things that are above, to heaven where Jesus has ascended into. Finally, dear friends, Jesus goes to get his crown for a job well done, a reward for the good work that he did on earth. He sits at the Father's right hand. He is crowned with glory and honor and given a name that is above every other name. Let us be reminded that there shall be a reward for every good that we do here on earth. When you to do good and when you ascend, a great reward awaits you in that heavenly kingdom. Remember the words of Jesus. When you would have done well, he will say, well done, good and faithful servant. Come into the kingdom that has been prepared for you. Are you doing well? so that you may have that great heavenly reward? Are you sure if death were to meet you now, you will have that heavenly reward? Work for it, beloved. Work for that heavenly reward by doing your work here on earth, especially your Christian duties, with a lot of enthusiasm and with a lot of zeal. Jesus goes to heaven to mediate for us. He sits at the Father's right hand. He mediates. Therefore, we have someone who is there, who understands he has lived with us. He has been through everything. He understands us. So therefore, do not be afraid. You have someone who understands what we go through because he too has gone through everything we go through. Be assured, beloved, Jesus has ascended to the heavens. We too have hope that we shall ascend to the heavens someday to be with him, to live and reign with him, with God the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Happy Ascension Day. Look up to the things that are above. Prepare yourself to depart. Make sure that those whom you leave will be standing on your feet when you leave. And I tell you, do your work so that when you too ascend, a crown of glory will await you. God bless you. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. <laughs>